Hi everyone, this uh, is a video just to uh, do some uh, basic tests here of the difference in uh, attraction and repel mode of two uh, identical transformers and uh, this is just to continue studying the uh, efficiency of motors, electric motors and um, to come up maybe with a different kind of design that already exists and um, what I am finding is uh, applying a current through these two transformers that were cut open. Usually a transformer has this uh, piece here continuing uh, here so it's basically all wrapped together and this was cut with my uh, grinder with a cut off very fine thin cut off wheel to be able to cut it without damaging the uh, transformer core laminations here. And um, so that's the primary here, this coil here, and then here's the secondary. And uh, no, actually, that is the secondary, this small coil, coil there. And this coil here is the one that the 120 would go in. So this is a uh, step down transformer, it would take 120 and create a magnetic field here and this winding here is small and that one was creating 15 volts of the 120 volts going in there anyways that's not what's needed these two transformers are identical and the uh, test here will be just to study the uh, or to look at the difference of the force of when we put these transformers in attraction uh, mode which they should come together and when we put the transformers in repel mode which they should push apart and the transformers are wired in series meaning the current here the positive lead is coming in and coming out on the other leg will go into the other coil okay and the other leg of that coil goes back to the source and the source is uh, going through uh, my variac to this capacitor and then using this meter here if I want to take uh, voltage and app readings. So we're going to start with 20 volts uh, basically and uh, this is coming in through this switch here which I press the button to activate the coil uh, to get the current to go through the coils here. So um, I've placed uh, glued these uh, transformers on these little plates these clear uh, plates so that they can easily slide there and stay uh, stable and what I'm going to use is a very fixed air gap and I'll determine the air gap by placing this Lexan sheet here in between the uh, two transformers and align them up exactly so that they're equal there and just take out this Lexan sheet so we've got a quarter inch air gap between the two here and right now the uh, transformers, which I just moved that, are wired in series um, uh, but in, in a uh, attraction mode. So when I hit the switch with that 20 volts and that air gap, the uh, transformers should attract to each other. And let's hit the switch now and see. Yes. So with that 20 volts, and I'm holding the switch now, uh, drops down because of the load down to 16.5 volts, and we're utilizing uh, 219 milliamps at that voltage. And um, I'll let go of the switch now. There is no current going through them at, uh, at this time. Uh, they are still sticking a little bit still together because of the residual magnetism that's still built in there and there as you could see there is still a little bit of air gaps because these are not cut perfectly uh, I believe they would stick together for a very long time if the cores were perfectly cut anyways we're not studying that but that is an interesting uh, effect there as well <coughs> um, what I'll do right now is obviously you saw they can attract to each other with a quarter inch air gap and uh, I'll keep them together now and just connect the, uh, the power lead here that will drive the current directly to the transformer. So now they are uh, attracting to each other and the 
feel is very strong. I can't separate them here with this single hand because the other hand's using the camera. And obviously, you know, they are, it is very, very strong. I don't believe I can even separate these with my two hands, my two arms with all the force I have. It's very, very, very strong. So now we're going to test the difference with uh, repel mode. So I'll go and take this off and there we go, they're separated. And I'll go and connect my switch once again. And we still have our 20 volts there available. And what I'll do now is just reverse the, um, the, these two leads here. And that would make them now in repel mode. So what I'll do now is I'll stick them together okay and we'll see if they can push themselves apart if they from what I think is if we had a quarter inch air gap and in attraction mode they were capable of pulling themselves together with the 20 volts input here uh, in the repel mode you would think that they should be able to push themselves apart you know more close to that quarter inch air gap so let's try it out here I'll hit the switch and give you a view here so the switch is on that's it that's as much as they push themselves apart and look there is the current and uh, voltage so it's at 16.6 .6 volts at 220 milliamps and that's as much as they push themselves apart. I'm kind of puzzled because I would have thought that they would do better. Like they're, st they're still, you know, they're still like together. It hasn't changed. They are very weak in repel mode and I don't understand that. Okay, again I hit the switch. I see no difference. I don't even see them moving by the slightest bit. You know, there it is on fully on. I can attach the lead so that I'm not pressing uh, you know directly on it. There they are attached. They hardly have any push. So I don't know <laughs> why they are so weak like this with the same kind of current going through them. I believe that you know, uh, two coils in repelling mode would have as much push than than poles. So I'm a bit puzzled. I don't understand uh, why this is because we're looking at a possibility of making a motor uh, in that that would be uh, instead of a traction motor, it would be like a repelling motor. And I'm trying to say, well, I don't see that there is much power. <laughs> So put that into your uh, thinking hat and try to uh, let me know uh, why you believe this is. Thanks for your time. Bye.